What's going on everybody, it's Joe from the Acceptable Casualties, back to take a look at the German Half-Track SDKFZ251C box set from Plastic Soldier Company, it's going to be a 15mm. Uh, I ended up picking this up, like I said, the same routine as before, it's, uh, this is the stuff I got from our early war German uh, army build that I'm doing. I ended up picking just one box of these with the intent of actually getting another one to maybe build some of the specialty half-tracks for, uh, for the Eastern Front. Uh, when I got this kit, put it together, it was an absolute breeze, man. Um, I ended up building five of the half tracks and all. These are just coming some of the builds that I have down here to show you guys. Um, so this is just one of the regular half tracks. Comes with a ton of stowage. I actually had some extra stowage as well. Uh, I have the machine gunner that's going to be put up on top, uh, getting painted uh, right now. He's on the table. But yeah, a bunch of cool little bits on here. And it goes together really smooth. The, uh, the hull is uh, three separate pieces, so you get the top. And then you get the bottom piece, and then the inside where you got like put the benches and the drivers and everything comes as a separate piece. So assembly is really easy as far as getting this together uh, and putting your guys in there. I, I do intend on putting some passengers in some of these as well, so they're not just be driving around empty. Um, but yeah, so like the, the really nice kit goes together super smooth. Uh, lots of lots of stowage in here. So if you got one of these and you have a box of tanks as well, I would suggest probably putting together the half tracks first and then purging some of the. Um, uh, pick, picking off some of the uh, some of the stowage bits and using it on your tanks. That's what I ended up doing, and uh, it, it, the sprues get to stretch out even further. I mean, like you, you just get more bang for your buck in this half track kit. And I think you're able with this one. You can buy. Um, they have another box that you can get a plastic soldier company where you can build out all these half tracks you know, like mortar half tracks, flame half tracks, and all that. I don't know if you can buy an individual sprue and do it or you have to buy the box, but I think it's like 20 bucks or something like that. But then you have enough of sprues and bits to build out like 20 or 25 half tracks with all the different builds that come with it. Uh, so here's a look at the instructions. Uh, you don't get like a sprue sheet on this one. It, it really is. It's just a simple uh, printout on um, just how to throw this together. I mean, it, it, they go together so simple. It, it, this really is easy. If you do one, it's really easy to do five. Uh, I had no issues at all with assembly. Like I said, it went together really smooth. The only thing that I wish that they did have that they don't have in here is they don't have the um, the command half track. Uh, they don't have like an option for that. This is all just strictly transport stuff. So you can kind of try to kit bash and throw one together. Like this was my attempt. Uh, I don't have the antenna. I've seen people actually uh, use antennas from other places. I don't know where to get them. So if you guys do know, uh, there's like an antenna piece that comes off the back for the command half track and it has that awning if you can find it. But I just grabbed the, uh, the antenna off the 231 uh, eight rad kit and just threw that on the back and then kind of added a little bit of stowage and some bits to kind of hide some other stuff there so that's what i'm gonna use for my command half track but they don't have a command half track build in the box so you're gonna have to kind of kit bash it or if you can find a place that makes a 15 millimeter one separately uh you'll have to do that like i said these are all just pretty um pretty straightforward 251c uh just transport half tracks but like i said there's a ton of bits in there where you can personalize each one of these and um and give them their own personality, so they're not just like four standard looking half tracks going across the table. But fun kit to put together, before I ramble on too much here, fun kit to put together, super easy to put together. You get crew in there, you get tons of stowage, you got all the machine guns that you can mount on there. It, it, it is, it's a really, really good kit, and especially for 20 bucks. I mean, you know, you're, you're paying, what, $4 a half track. Um, with tons of leftover stuff that you can use for other projects. Like I said, stowage for other tanks. You got other riders that if you want to throw in some trucks that you got laying around some opals or, you know, you just want to have, uh, make like a cool, like little like scenery piece. There's just tons of extra stuff inside this box uh, that you know, like, like a stretch your, your purchasing power a little bit further. So uh, like I said, I hope this helps you guys out a little bit. If you guys are looking into getting some half tracks, these are, these are a pretty good buy. I'm actually really happy with these. Uh, if you guys got any comments on uh, maybe some experiences uh, using them, I know they have another uh, half track set. I think they have 250s as well. Uh, so if you guys have used those, you know, let me know about those in the bottom. I haven't picked those up yet, so I'm not sure about that set. But uh, like I said, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.